Hello everyone. I'm just jumping on a minute sooner because I'm going to try to share this to my, um, oh, my group page. So I just want to make sure I get that set up and then I can get started. Hopefully everyone's doing okay. It's a beautiful day out there, so I'm not sure how many people have joined me live, but hi, Tony. I can see your comment today, which is really nice. So, um, But I'd like to welcome you. I'm Kelly Ag with Stampin' with Kelly. And um, gosh, it seems like forever since I've been on a Facebook Live. I guess I missed last week. But what I'm going to be doing today is this cute little bag. And then this is supposed to be a Hershey bar wrapper, which I do not have the Hershey bar. Um, I thought I was going to get one and I just, I, I didn't get to town. So, and I don't really want it sitting around because I'll eat it, but it'll give you, um, I'll give you the measurements and you can put like any kind of flatter candy bar in here. Okay. So I would like to just show you real quick. We're going to be working with the turtle friends. So that's the bundle with the punch, which is really cute. But um, for June 9th, I am doing a class in, um, hi Cheryl, and you can get it to go or in person. I only got one spot left for the in person. But what you're going to receive, um, you're going to be doing eight cards and you're going to get the designer paper and... A full pack of it and the pack of the baker's twine and then also you're gonna get one of the little mini jars and I was gonna order some bath salt so hopefully I don't forget to do that so I was just gonna show you real quick this is the little jar that we're gonna be doing I think this is so cute I love this set and the four cards that we're going to be doing oops I think this belongs to the inside, which I didn't get done. But so that class is for next Wednesday and you can get it to go. Um, it's $38 with the shipping. And let's see, you have to sign up by Friday. Okay. And then I have a stamping up bingo, which is the 18th on a Friday at 6 p.m. And I can't remember. I think I said like the 11th or 12th to sign up for that. And then, of course, I'll have my... um the 23rd, my regular card class, which I'll be using this set. I really haven't had much of a chance to play around with it, so I'll be making my cards after. But So here's my little bag. And what I'm going to do is I, um, let me get this out of the way here. I was going to, like I used just a full sheet of designer paper the measurements are 10 and a half by 10 and a half, but I'm going to use white today and then add the designer paper, or I could just use the whole designer paper, but I thought this was kind of cool paper. It's pool party. And that came along with the pack, um, the, the pack in the back for the hostess set where you get all that paper. So, okay. Hi, Carol. So I'm going to get started and so I'm going to be stamping like I use this is the soft succulent and I'm going to take in um the I use the evening evergreen so I'm just going to kind of change it around to go with the pool party now I know turtles aren't like the light blue but they're going to be today <laughs> so okay so I have my ten and a half by ten and a half sheet of white paper and I'm just gonna set this over here so we are going to do some scoring I'm gonna set that there too I need a little extra room I got this whole table and I'm still crowded so ten and a half by ten and a half of your card stock and then we are going to score it at two and a half inches basically every two and a half inches so you go two and a half, five inches. Oh, hopefully I scored that right. And then seven and a half and ten. 
So it leaves you that little half inch on the side. And then we are going to turn it and you will do two and a half inches, which is your bottom. And then you will go to eight inches and nine and a half. Thank you guys for sharing. I appreciate it. Okay. So we got that. That's all the scoring we're going to do on that. And then let's get this kind of folded here so I can see what I'm doing. So you just fold on your score lines. Gosh, I hope that's not dark. I don't understand. I got all these lights and it still seems kind of dark, but I think I'm just going to have to get different lights. Okay, so I got that folded well. Now I'm going to go back the other way. But it's just a perfect day today I um think we better enjoy it because I've heard it's supposed to get 90 again on the weekend so okay so this will be the top and this is the bottom so on this little half inch mark we're going to get rid of that that little bottom part Okay, and then I'm just going to cut up on the score lines. Since it's going to be square on the bottom, I don't think you really need to get rid of anything, but you can if you want to. As long as you cut nice and neat on your score lines, you'll be fine. I love these little um, boxes because you can put so much in them, a soap or whatever you want to do. Um, candy so that's gonna go over like that and hopefully I kind of had that score line just off a hair but I'm gonna make it work so I'm going to put that there so I'm gonna put my four panels on here and I think I left my tape somewhere else so I'm just going to go ahead. It's blurry on your end. Oh, yeah, it's hard to say, Cheryl, because sometimes my internet's kind of screwy too. But when you go to watch the replay, it should be fine, hopefully. But these panels are, you need four of them. And they are five and a quarter by two and a quarter. So you're going to put all four of these on. And you could do it after your boxes together, but I always find it easier to get them on straight. Now you had a little blurry too. Oh, and yet I raised my my um phone thing up, so I don't know what is going on. I just think our internet is slow. slower some days I don't know if there's a lot of people on it it seems like it's um a little bit slower so but hopefully when you if the replay you know well, of course it's going to be on but hopefully that will be um back where it'll be clear okay so what I'm going to do is I have two more little panels, which are um, two and a quarter by one and a quarter. So I'm going to put them on after, but I'm going to take and glue this, the little panel. And I'd use tear tape, but I'm going to try to kind of keep this even, which I don't know if it will be. Because I had that one score line not straight. So... 
Oh, autofocus. I don't know. My son changed my camera, and I'm kind of wondering if that's... He did something so I could do videos that are longer than 10 minutes, but I wonder if he um switched something else for me. I'm going to have to go online and see. Or not online, but on my camera. Hmm. There's nothing more discouraging than... <laughs> Having some projects and then you can't, you know, they don't come in good. Okay, so let's see where the back of my box is right here. So I'm going to keep, this is where my fold was. So I'm going to go ahead and just layer them. And then this is the back of my box. So the top panel will be um, going towards the back. So that I'm just going to glue that good. Okay, and then I keep getting these little notices about this stupid um, security thing on here, <laughs> so, all right, so this will kind of fold like that, so what I'm going to do is I'll put my panels right here, so this is the two and a quarter by one and a quarter, I keep telling my husband I'm going to get a different phone and probably go back to the iPhone because they seem to be, they work well, you know, for your videos, but who knows? It just could be the person trying to operate it, right? <laughs> so, any hoot. Okay, so I got that on there. I'm just going to make sure that it's, oops. Now I moved it. All right. Boy, it'd help if I had that on straight. Sorry, guys. There we go. Okay. So I pinched this together for the top of my box. And I have my little hole puncher, which isn't very big. And I was able to go through the whole thing yesterday. So we'll see. But that was the designer paper. So who knows if I can. Oh, I got it. As I say, watch, I'll not be able to get it today. I have a crop a dial thing but I um have it buried behind my other stuff so okay so I'm using this polka dot ribbon um because I didn't have any of the pool party ribbon so hopefully I got enough here I'm just gonna just so you know I punched through all four layers because if you punch it in the middle then your box will be like this so if you punch it in all of it it'll stay closed okay so I'm just going to kind of poke that through. I'm going to use my scissors. I can get it in there. I really, really, really need to clean my scrapbooking room. I have stuff everywhere. And I cannot find anything. So... All right, so I'm just gonna pull this through. Allow myself plenty so I can tie my little bow. So I'm just gonna kind of go this way with it. So of course you're gonna wanna fill it with your goodies before you tie your bow. And with this ribbon, you gotta kinda try not to um, scrunch it all together or spread it apart a little bit because otherwise it gets kind of flattened. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to pull this side. 
it's also a little harder to kind of pull through but I think that's going to be that will be good once we get this kind of fluffed out okay all right so we got that yeah I can see that it's still blurry I'm sorry you guys it's going to drive me crazy. So I have a pool party that I use the scallop contour, I think it is. So I'm going to go ahead with the black, the mental ink. Let me get that out of the way. And I'm going to stamp. It's time to, I can't even say it, celebrate instead of celebrate the shell. That's kind of a mouthful. I'm going to stamp that on there in the corner. I think that's so cute. And then I got an extra white sheet that I'm going to stamp my turtle on in the black. <laughs> oh, is that why you keep ordering stuff, Tony? Maybe me too, huh? <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to use Pool Party. And do the shell and with this I found don't over tap because then you'll get ink all through your shells and it'll be a big blur instead of separate okay and so what I was going to do and I don't know on my other one I didn't color anything but I just have the the lighter pool party until that dries it looks different hmm I think what I'm gonna do let me see what this is this is the dark I think I'm just gonna go light hi Donna I'm just gonna go um kind of light the lighter pool party on the the rest of the turtle kind of fill in this so like I said there's usually the turtles are green <laughs> kind of like when I was doing that chicken I was trying to make it look like a real chicken and it was driving me nuts because I didn't like the way it was turning out and then when I went to the kind of the funky colors I was like oh that's pretty cool so and since I'm using Pool Party, that's why I'm using, using this for my turtle. So everything kind of matches. In the Stamping Up world, you can make things the color you want. Okay, so I have the punch. So I'm just going to punch that out. I love when we have punches, especially for class. Okay, so I'm going to take and add all this on with dimensionals. So I'm going to go ahead and add my turtle. Oh, I think that's cute. Okay. If I get my dimensional on right. Okay. So I'm going to put that on there. And then to add it to my bag, I'm going to add some dimensionals too. Just kind of squeeze that in a little bit on the side so it'll lay down nice. Okay, so just going to kind of go in the middle with this. I have been, most of you know, been painting my kitchen wall. Everything was so white. I finally got to paint the walls with the color and everything. And it's going to look nice, I think, I hope. So, but there's your two bags. So this one's done with the designer paper only. And this is with the um, basic white. And then I used um, the designer paper. 
So you could do it either way. Okay. I, I think they're cute. I like both of them. So which ones do you guys like? Do you like the the white one or the um the soft succulent one? I don't know if you got a preference. I like this paper, so but okay, so I'm gonna set them aside for a minute. It would have really looked nice if it would have had some pool party ribbon, but okay, for the little um candy bar wrapper and like I said you could use I think there's like the Nestle Crunch any of those that are you know the size of the Hershey bar so I used this paper as well and I had um oh I think this was from the pansy collection that I used this paper for so but I think this is pear pizzazz so but okay this is six by six and this is so easy to do. You could whip up a lot of these quick. Um, so six by six, and you can use a lot of the six by six paper, but um, you score it at two and a quarter, um, two and a half, four and three quarters, and five inches and that's all there is to it so simple okay and then you're gonna fold it at your score lines Yeah, the white is sturdier depending on what you want to put in it. So it's nice um, to use the matching card stock. I just haven't ordered a lot of the 12 by 12 card stock lately. I usually do all the, the new colors, but I don't think I did this time. Okay, so... That's all there is to this. So you got your little spot for your candy bar. And then you're going to put your tape. Let me see. I got to look at that because I. You're going to put your tape on the inside. Like this is the shorter part that is scored on the inside of this. And it's just going to overlap that. So you know what? This would be a lot easier if I did have a candy bar. <laughs> but so you would put your candy bar right here. On this side you could add um, you don't want to add your glue dots because then you want to be able to slide it out and I put ribbon here so if you had your candy bar it would hold the, the candy bar in there so so I'm just going to go ahead and write inside I'm gonna add my score tape and you could use glue too so if you don't have your candy bar in here, you got to be kind of careful of how you close this because um, you got to make sure you leave room in there for that. So it's going to close just like that. And you can see that your candy bar would fit in there. Okay. And I don't know if you can see those little turtles, but oh my God, are they cute. I wasn't sure at first if I liked this set, but I'm thinking, oh, I don't know. I love the sayings and, okay, so I'm just going to start that there. And just kind of line it up and not too hard. This is nothing new, but I don't really make these, so that was kind of cute for something different than just the card. But you can see how your candy bar will fit in there, okay? So I used, I had just stamped this on a little white sheet of paper and kind of cut it off. But I cut out one of the scallop label things again. And I'm going to stamp, let's see, I'm going to try this. I didn't practice, so we'll see either it'll turn out or it won't. We'll go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp. You are totally loved on the bottom so I see how much room I got 
And I'm just using the Memento ink. And then I'm going to, let's see, I want it to stamp. What did I do with my grass? I guess I didn't get my grass out, but that's okay. I'm going to stamp my turtles. And I'm just doing them in black. I did one just a little higher than the other. And let me close this up. And then I'll do the pool party with the little shell. I think this is so cute too. Oops. Better quit moving that. There. And then I think I will go ahead and just lightly color that in with the, the lighter pool party. So... Maybe, ooh, maybe I shouldn't have, but we will see. Let me see my little bag. Oh, yeah, that's on um, white, though. I think it'll be fine once it's all colored. I'm not doing a very good job coloring here. Oh, I think it'll be fine. These would be really nice to make for, um, for like Valentine's Day. Maybe not using the turtle, but just the little wrapper thing to hand out or for, um, Halloween. Be cute. Okay, I'm just gonna color the little feet a little darker. So I'm not sure that shows up that good on here. Maybe I should have done it on the white, but I still think it's cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie my ribbon. And you can untie this to put your candy bar in. So And if you didn't want to, you didn't even have to put a ribbon on it, but I think it's cute with the ribbon. If I can tie this, <laughs> then it'll be cute. Okay. Yeah. And you know what? I'm not going to even cut this yet because if I get the... um candy bar I want to have enough so I can take and tie it back up so I'm just going to put my little label on with dimensionals and that'll kind of hold your ribbon in place so okay Like I said, every other weekend, it was so hot the weekend before. Then we almost froze Memorial Weekend, and then it's supposed to be really hot again. I think I actually like it stamped on the white better, but I still think it's cute. So pretend that there's a candy bar in here. <laughs> See, if I don't have them around the house, then I'm not going to eat them. But I'm, I'm actually looking forward to designing a class on this. So, um... It should be fun, but I don't know which ones you guys like better, but I almost think I like this one, unless I would have used white, but I think it's fine. So, okay, guys, well, thank you for joining me. Um, The other thing I was going to say real quick, I'm going to try to start a summer um, kind of a fun program, June through August, like if you attend classes, if you do orders, um... Then you earn like little flowers on my little chart. I didn't get it together yet, but I will. And then I'll get an email out hopefully by this weekend. So, so you guys can win some prizes. So, but all right. Thank you for joining me. It's just a quick, yeah, you like the green one too. I do too. 
just a quick Facebook Live, and um, hopefully I'll be able to join you guys again next Tuesday at 4 o'clock, and I will check my phone, <laughs> so hopefully it's not blurry. But thanks for joining me. You guys have a great week. Bye-bye.